हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्लास नाइन्थ मैथ्स चैप्टर नंबर सेवन ट्राइंगल्स वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द कॉन्ग्रेंसी ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स और वी कैन से कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल्स इन विच वी स्टडीड दैट कॉन्ग्रेंस कॉन्ग्रेंस मीन्स कॉन्ग्रेंस ट्राइंगल कॉन्ग्रेस ट्राइंगल्स मीन्स इफ द टू ट्राइंगल्स आर ऑफ सेम साइज एंड हैविंग सेम क्रॉसपॉन्डिंग एंगल्स देन द टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉल्ड एज ए कॉन्ग्रेंस ट्राइंगल्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज कॉन्ग्यूरेंट टू ट्राइंगल डी ई एफ we studied about two criteria to prove these two triangles are congruent in which first is sas property according to this if two sides and included angle two sides and included angle of one triangle is equals to the two side and included angle of other triangle then the two triangles are called congruent इसमें हमने ये स्टडी किया था कि ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ई डी डी ई एंड बी सी इज इक्वल्स टू ई एफ एंड एंगल बी इज इक्वल्स टू एंगल ई देन बाई एस एस प्रॉपर्टी ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज कॉन्ग्यूरेंट टू ट्राइंगल डी ई एफ सिमिलरली सेवन पॉइंट वन में हमने सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी जो की थी दैट वॉज ए एस ए प्रॉपर्टी we can write it as a a s also angle angle side or angle side angle in me se dono me se koi bhi name read kar sakte hain isme side angle side hai wo angle side angle or angle angle side hai is property ke according according to uh, a s a property if two angles and included side are equal to the two angle and included side of other triangle then the two triangles are called congruent that means if angle b is equals to angle e angle c is equals to angle f and bc is equals to ef then the two triangles are called triangle abc is congruent to triangle def ye hum study kar chuke hain 7.1 exercise mein इसमें ए ए एस एंगल एंगल साइड हमें बताया कि अगर ये एंगल और ये एंगल इक्वल हैं दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल आर आल्सो इक्वल देन थर्ड एंगल इज आल्सो इक्वल क्योंकि इन तीनों का सम 180 होता है इफ द सम ऑफ दिस थ्री ट्राइंगल्स इज इक्वल्स टू 180 एटी दैट मीन्स एंगल ए इज आल्सो इक्वल्स टू एंगल डी दैट्स वाई वी कैन यूज ए ए एस प्रॉपर्टी दैट मीन्स एनी टू एंगल्स एंड वन साइड इज इक्वल्स टू two angle and one side of another triangle then also these two triangles are congruent but ssa is not valid hum ssa property ka use nahi kar sakte is case mein today we are going to uh, start another criteria to define the congruency of two triangles in which first topic is or third criteria to solve the congruency of uh, two triangles or to define congruency of two triangles that is s s s s means side side and side congruency rule side 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 means if three sides of a triangle is equals to the three sides of another triangle then the two triangles are called congruent so isme hum likhenge statement likhenge iski so according to sss property if three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle then the two triangles are congruent so in these two triangles if ab is equals to de bc is equals to ef 
and AC is equals to FD, then two triangles ABC is called congruent to triangle DEF. Three sides of one triangle is equals to the three sides of another triangle. Then also we can say the two triangles are congruent. Congruency means uh, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. If three sides is equals to uh, three sides of another triangle, then these two triangles are congruent. That means their corresponding angles are also equal. Similarly, the last one, fourth property, that is RHS property or RHS. Is uh, may RHS means our uh, pass RHS property or rule for congruent triangle. So R means right hand, right angle. H means hypotenuse, S means side, any one side. So this uh, property is basically for right angle triangle. If there is a two right angle triangles, then these two are congruent. If the right angles are there between them, 90 degree, 90 degree angle are equal, hypotenuse is equal and one side, any one side, either base or perpendicular. In may say koi bhi amare pas one side is equals to uh, the right angle hypotenuse and one side of another right angle triangle then the two triangles are called congruent. The statement is like this. So uh, RHS rule of congruency of two triangles is like this. R means right angle, H means hypotenuse, S means side. There are two right angle triangles. Let this ABC is a right angle triangle and this DEF is also a right angle triangle. In these two right angle triangle, as we know that right angle triangle is there, that means angle B is equals to angle E is equals to 90 degree. Hypotenuse. H means hypotenuse, hypotenuse is AC and DF, so these are equal and one side, any one side, any one side means either it can be AB equals to DE or it can be BC is equals to EF. You can take any uh, one side, let AB is equals to DE, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by RHS property or RHS rule. So by this rule, we can define the congruency of two triangles. These are the two properties or two rules to define the congruency in exercise 7.3. We will use SAS and SASA property also to solve the congruency of two triangles in exercise 7.3. We can prove these uh, theorems or these properties, SSS property and right angle uh, RHS property by taking some appropriate uh, examples or uh, some appropriate triangles or by constructions into triangles. But uh, it is not important, so we will learn these identities and go for the questions on based on these rules. Exercise 7.3, question number 1. It is given that triangle ABC and triangle DBC are isoscales triangle. So in solution, it is given that triangle ABC and DBC are isoscales triangle. Isoscale triangle means two sides are equal. On the same base BC, if BC are same, then AB is equals to BC, AC its given part and BD is equals to CD it these two are the given part in two triangles ABC and DBC with the same base BC. If AD is extended to intersect BC at P AD this line is extended up to P point which intersect BC at P then first of all we have to show that triangle ABD triangle ABD 
this is the triangle ABD. A, B, D. This triangle and triangle A, C, D. A, C, D. These two triangles are congruent. We have to prove in first part. To prove that these two triangles are congruent, first of all, it's given that and triangle ABD and triangle ACD. AB is equals to AC, it's given. BD is equals to CD, it's given. And these both are the given part, given in the question. And AD is equals to AD, which is the common side between these two triangles. If these are the common sides, that means by SSS rule, we can write that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. If these two triangles are congruent, that means their corresponding angles are also equal. If their corresponding angles are also equal, that means uh, this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equals to this angle. These are the some conclusion by CPCT. So by CPCT we can write angle ABC is equals to angle ABD is equals to angle ACD and angle BAD equals to angle CAD. These are the conclusion of these two triangles are congruent. Second part. In second part, we have to prove that triangle ABP is congruent to triangle ACP. ABP, this complete triangle ABP, ACP, ACP. So, to prove the second part, we have to consider triangle ABP and triangle ACP. It's given that AB is equals to AC. Given part. AP is equals to AP because common side, common side between these two triangle and angle B. AP is equals to angle CAP. We already proved that these two angles are equal to each other. In this case, BAD and CAD. AD is extended to P. So, we can write it as BAP and CAP. That means BAP and CAP are equal. It is in proved in first part. So by these two parts, this side is equals to this side, this side is common side and angle between them are equal. That means by SAS rule, we can write that triangle ABP is congruent to triangle ACP. If these two triangles are congruent, it means, what it means? their corresponding parts are also equal. Corresponding parts means BP is equals to PC and angle uh, what is left angle BPA is equals to angle CPA. These are the conclusion by CPCT of corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now third part, we have to prove that AP bisect angle A as well as angle D. We already proved that angle A is bisected by AP because if this angle is equals to this angle that means these two angles are equal. It means angle A is bisected by AP. So in third part, we already proved that angle A B D or oh, sorry it's uh, angle B A P 
is equals to angle CAP that means AP bisect angle A. Now we have to prove that angle D is also bisected by AP. To prove that angle A uh, D is also bisected we have to take two triangles triangle B P D and triangle C P D these two triangles in these two triangles it is given that B D is equals to C D it is an isoscale triangle it is given part again D P is equals to D P common side and we already proved that B P is equals to C P in second part. So, by S S S rule we can write that triangle B P D is congruent to triangle C P D. If these two triangles are congruent then by CPCT we can write that angle BDP is equals to angle CDP these two angles are also equal by CPCT these two angles are also equal these two angles are also equal because uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also equal. If these two angles are equal it shows that AP bisect angle D also that is the proof of our third part in uh, question number one to prove fourth part I will prove this fourth part under this we have to prove that AP is perpendicular bisector of BC AP is perpendicular bisector of AP bisector means which divides equally in two parts and uh, perpendicular means it makes 90 degree angle with BC. To prove this we already proved in uh, second part that BP is equals to PC that means BC is bisector. AP is the bisector of BC. So, according to fourth part solution of fourth part AP is bisector of BC second part we proved that BP is equals to CP and we proved that BDP uh, BPD angle BPD Yeah, we uh, already in uh, by CPCT we proved that angle BPD is equals to angle CPD according to third part by CPCT of third part. If these two angles are equal, but these two angles are straight angle, and these two angles are equal. Straight angles means the sum of BPD plus CPD is equals to 180 and these two are equal it is possible if angle BPD is equal uh, equals to angle CPD is equals to 90 hence AP is perpendicular bisector of BC which we have to prove in this question number 1. So, uh, question number 1 mein hume do triangles congruent proof karne ko kaha tha, do no triangle congruent proof ka di and all these. Question number 2, it is given that AD is an altitude of an isoscale triangle ABC in which AB is equals to AC show that first part is AD bisect BC and second part AD bisect angle A also. So, let us take a triangle ABC in which 
ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए सी इट्स गिवन ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए सी एंड ए डी इज एन एल्टीट्यूड ए डी सो इट्स गिवन दैट ए डी इज एल्टीट्यूड इफ इट इज एल्टीट्यूड दैट मीन्स एंगल ए डी बी इक्वल्स टू एंगल ए डी सी इक्वल्स टू नाइंटी डिग्री इट्स गिवन दैट दीज आर द राइट एंगल नाइंटी डिग्री एंड नाइंटी डिग्री वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए डी बाई सेक्स बी सी एंड ए डी बाई सेक्ट एंगल ए ऑल्सो टू प्रूव दिस बार्ट वी हैव टू टेक ट्राइंगल ए बी डी एंड ट्राइंगल ए सी डी इन दीज टू ट्राइंगल ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए सी गिवन पार्ट हाइपोटेनियस ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स दीज आर द टू राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल्स सो वी कैन से दैट इट्स हाइपोटेनियस ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स एंगल ए डी बी इज इक्वल्स टू एंगल ए डी सी राइट एंगल राइट एंगल एंड ए डी इज इक्वल्स टू ए डी कॉमन साइड एंड वी कैन राइट एनी वन साइड ऑफ टू राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो राइट एंगल हाइपोटेनियस एंड एनी वन साइड आर इक्वल सो बाई आर एच एस रूल वी कैन से दैट ट्राइंगल ए बी डी इज कॉन्ग्यूरेंट टू ट्राइंगल ए सी डी इफ दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्यूरेंट देन बाई सी पी सी टी रॉस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्यूरेंट ट्राइंगल्स वी कैन से दैट बी डी इज इक्वल्स टू डी सी दैट मीन्स ए डी बाई सेक्ट बी सी एंड सेकेंड पार्ट एंगल बी ए डी इज ऑल्सो इक्वल्स टू एंगल सी ए डी रॉस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल्स सो इफ बी ए डी इज इक्वल्स टू सी ए डी दैट मीन्स एंगल ए डी बाई सेक्स एंगल ए ए डी बाई सेक्स एंगल ए सो बाई दिस वे वी हैव टू प्रूव द कॉन्ग्रेंसी ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स further we will complete in next class thank you for today we'll go for uh, further questions tomorrow or next video in next video thank you